The caravan master finishes dressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering, as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods towards a looming black mass on the hillside. The area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. <laughs> uh, damn, man. Hut-dwelling types. He's like a real frontiersman. Oh, I like it. I like this guy. Caravan Master Udima. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded Vale's less than a day out. Understood? At last, the Caravan Master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. In which case, you'll be dead in a day. That does sound grim. Indeed. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Okay. So now I get to talk. I feel I need to warn you guys, anyone potentially interested in watching this Let's Play, that I'm going to be talking, listening, reading a whole lot. I, I want it all. Every single last bit of it, it's happening. So brace yourselves. Here we go. Where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Okay. What are those ruins? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn. So I hear. Your character's attributes, skills, class, race, culture, and sex may all open up options for you in dialogue. These options are not necessarily superior to the other responses, but give you a wider variety of choices to select from. Ha. Huh. Okay, the manner in which someone responds depends on their individual personality and attitude. Who did build the ruins? Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Is it uh, dangerous out there? Not if you hurry about your business, and not if the weather holds up. There's concern in his tone, but he does not elaborate. Let's let's push him for some answers. What kind of weather do they get out here? This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here time to time. Locals call it a beowick, born out of the ether. The spirit's path. Never seen it myself. Never care to. I get that. I feel you, brother. Oh, uh, what are these huge rocks coming out of the ground? They don't got Audra where you come from? Audra? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. I've just seen now that my character is facing in the opposite direction, along with little Nero over here. <laughs> wow, we are, we are some sort of rude. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. A living crystal. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. Okay. I'll go see about those berries then. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes at length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman 
who has spent the journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. She needs to find some springberries. Watch that she doesn't drop dead. No promises. <laughs> Come on! What? What kind of guide says something like that? <laughs> I like and her. You can afford. I like her already. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Equipped. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Well, that's an exciting start to our adventure. Welcome to Pillars of Eternity. If this is your first visit to the world of Aora, you may want to watch these windows to become familiar with the tools and interfaces. Your party always consists of your character and up to five additional companion, uh, companions or adventurers. While the caravan is camped outside the Glanfathen ruins, Odima has assigned Kalisha to help you. Kalisha is a fighter, a class that excels at close quarters defense. Use her abilities to complement you. And I wonder if they give you a different one, if you have a different class. Select a party member, click on their portrait. Uh, and then select server. This is not all that important. Yeah. I guess I can close it. I mean, I do know the basics to move. When multiples are selected, the action bar is hidden. Hmm. Oh, I hmm. see. Okay. There we are. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and I can talk to her. Nice. Okay. Now, one thing I need to do before I start is I need to brute force cage cursor on. You need to switch it off and then back on again because as it stands right now, I can actually move my cursor onto my second monitor and that's no good because I've, uh, I've accidentally click over there, then it alt tabs and I also wouldn't be able to scroll. So there you go. It's mm -hmm. fixed. We're good to go. I want to see my character first. Hmm. I like it. I made a good choice. I'm happy. I'm also happy that Nero is looking as handsome as he is. Look at that. Oh, it's very nice. Hmm. Not a big fan of my armor. You can zoom pretty far out and pretty far in. It's obviously not recommended. I think one should probably just hmm. stay on the yeah. default. And then tab. I read the manual before I started playing. Is meant to show you things. Oh, I need lockpicks for this. Yeah. Uh. Eh? This one's in need lockpicks. Loot and pillage. Give me, give me. This is a big dude right here. So if they're all called caravanners, then there's no reason to try and talk to them. I'll talk to people with names. Go on then, before it gets too dark. Most people you encounter in the world are neutral or friendly. You can interact with them by clicking on the selection circle. Many characters will simply greet you and go on their way, but others will have larger conversations to explore. Then they recommend I go talk to Hyodan. Okay, hey. let's go find him. Oh? These tall, glass-green pillars appear as if they have sprouted from the earth. The flickering fires set shadows dancing within. Cool. Like the idea of- can I- Anyone need supplies? Can I steal- I've got sundries for What's sale. What do you need? Yeah. I hope he doesn't care. Sure. I don't want to see what this army is that I picked up. Ah! Oh, I like it. Very tribal. DR0 recovery speed 0%. Ah, uh, you see, it's actually better. It doesn't give defense, but the other one, the padded armor, which I just don't like the look of anyway, slows me down. So hmm. I'll let Nero and the warrior that I've got with sure. me tank. Dan. Should we talk to him? I mean, I really want to just head out and start exploring. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Seriously, it is. But let's let's be thorough. See a man wearing a simple but mostly neat clothing. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Got a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. 
He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered in uneven stubble, as if he hasn't quite gotten used to shaving on the road. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Interesting that he's got a portrait, but the caravan master doesn't. Is he a, an important character? I guess we'll see. Uh, who are you? I'm a trader, originally from the Adir Empire, but I've been trying to establish new business out here. Life on the road has brought some unexpected challenges, to be sure. And I'm sure you've noticed how prickly the locals can be. But we're here to make the most of things, right? This is interesting. So, passionate, clever, and cruel. I don't know if I want to be passionate with this guy that I've just met. So, I'm going to go with clever. That's excellent advice indeed. You now have one rank in a disposition reputation. These reputations represent how people perceive your personality throughout the world. Even seemingly nasty reputations will be favored by some people. And benign reputations often bring out the worst in certain people. No disposition is inherently good or bad in Pillars of Eternity. But if your main character is a priest or paladin, you must be careful not to misalign their dispositions with what is favored by their deity and order respectively okay that's pretty cool something else you need looks like we're settled for the night uh tell me about the adir empire it's not as big as it used to be but it's still big the mainland is a continent northwest of here but the colonies used to include rayad saris and the deerwood about 150 years ago deerwood won its independence from the empire in fact, our companions are quick to remind me of. He gives a lopsided grin. Uh, gives you a lopsided grin and nods at the other's scattered caravanas. I am bad at reading, but I think I'm doing reasonably well so far. Why do you move all the way out here? Because it seemed friendlier than Ray and Saris. <laughs> My brothers took over the family mercantile business a few years ago. And there wasn't enough for me to do back home. I moved out to try and expand. These names. Ray and Saris. It's going to take a while before I know all of them. I'm probably going to mispronounce most of them. Deerwood is a former Adir colony. Uh, so it seemed like a good place to start. And as much as I admire the Raid Serens... Raid Serens? Work ethic? They've always struck me as a little fanatical. Now I can be diplomatic or rational. Look... I'm just going to go with sounds reasonable enough. I don't want to be diplomatic. That's high-minded of you? Seems like you got the short end of the stick. I'm just going to go with standard. Out here, I'm just uh, taking it one day at a time. Okay, so I can look at his wares now. Huh. Stores allow you to trade and sell your items for copper pieces or items in the store's inventory. Merchants buy items from you at a greatly reduced price. If you sell something, you may see it appear in the store's inventory with a much higher cost. <sighs> of course. They refresh their wares periodically. Hmm. Do I want anything? Ooh. Ooh. A lockpick, perhaps? Can I... Can I take one lockpick? Aha! Hopefully we can get something good out of this crate back here. Maybe that's why they put it there. Maybe that's why. Give me your wares. Do you want to use... Can I fail? Oh! 10 yeah. XP. Minor endurance potion. Okay. No problem. I mean, I guess that's probably worth something. I also like that they gray these out. So those two are grayed out. So you know you've looted them already. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let us proceed. I just want to head out. I want to start this adventure properly. Start exploring. Oh, the map. Wow. Doesn't that just bring back so many memories? It looks so good. Oh, world map. 
Uh, wow. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm assuming we're around here somewhere now. I mean, that's Gilded Vale. That's where we're on our way to. It's unimportant. It's a little weird playing because the left and right mouse buttons are inverted. Well, they're the inverse to what one is used to. Can I talk to the horsies? Aha. Gimme. Orland's Cradle. It's nice and easy at least to see if you're missing something by just, you know, smacking that tab key. The fallen tree doesn't budge. Sap Not oozes forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. from the jagged wound in its trunk. So wasn't this like a planned ambush or something then? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Or maybe someone chopped it down so we'd get stuck here and get caught in the biowack or whatever the wind is called, the spirit wind. Exploration is key in Pillars of Eternity. As you make your way through the eastern reach, uh, open the area map to see what parts of the map you've already been to and what's left to explore. Of course. Of course. Don't even worry. Oh, who's this dude? Sparfell. He's the water dude, right? I'll have your water soon enough. Eh? Stream's not going anywhere. No problem. Uh, right. Okay, he doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry to help me out, though. Ah, oh, look at the lighting. It's quite nice. I'm just wondering why eh? that character yeah. sure. keeps doing everything. She's looting things. This path winds through a narrow canyon back the way you came. Seems straight too far. Yeah, I, haven't, I, know, I wasn't planning on straying Let's too check far. By those outcroppings. Oh! Combat! Pillars of Eternity Combat uses a pausable real-time system uh, because you often manage more than one character at a time. It's good to pause the game. That's true. Okay, the options menu I've already looked at. I've set things up the way I want it. I set it up that it pauses when combat starts, which is ideal for me. Now... I get to give commands to my characters. Let's fire a wound in shot at that wolf. Oh, I bet Nero's not gonna like this. What you need? He's fighting his own. She can use knockdown. Whoa! Why did it pause there? Is that because we just engaged? That was another automatic pause. Uh, all characters in the game, friend or foe, have four primary defenses against attacks. Deflection, fortitude, reflex, and will. These defenses are based on the character's attribute levels, items, and other effects. Whoa, this is a long one. Accuracy is compared to the appropriate defense when an attack is made. If the accuracy is below the target defense, the attack suffers a penalty to the roll. Okay. More likely to result in a miss. And if it's above, then you might crit. Sounds good. Whoa, what is this? All attacks that do damage have to overcome the target's damage reduction. That's DR, we saw that in the armor earlier. Enemy's DR reduces the incoming damage uh, by the listed amount. Okay. Down to a minimum percentage. If you're having difficulty hurting an enemy, try switching to a weapon or attack that does different damage type. Most enemies are strong against one or two damage types and weak against a similar number. I paused there. You can see all the statistics top left. Young wolf near death. He's got wounding shot on him. And he's hobbling. And then there's like a... Cooldown bar of some sort. Eh? Above my characters. Okay, that's the cooldown of the attacks. Pretty cool. No pun intended. Uh, when a party member takes damage, they'll start to lose endurance and health. Why was Nero standing back here, by the way? Hmm. Uh, their portrait will begin to fill with a red overlay, and the health bar will, uh, to the left of your portrait will slowly start to decrease. When it fills entirely with red, the character will be knocked out. Potions and spells can be used to restore endurance, so basically you need to go through your endurance yeah. and then through your life. No Take it. Problem. Oh, that's grisly. Oh. This is it. Ooh. 
Raider, no offense, but I've known my share of dangerous people and you remind me of them. This is because I'm a raider, she's addressing me like this. I've been known to liberate certain under-appreciated valuables from their owners' homes. She got me. Woman, you got me. Uh, you wouldn't have wanted to run into me at sea. We boarded and pl uh, uh, boarded and plundered ships. I was a highwayman in my old life. Uh, let's go with number one. It seems like the most friendly response. Yeah? How is it that you happen to come here? I'm a wanted woman. Wow, so I get to really, like, set up my own story. If I'd been caught stealing again, they'd have hanged me. My partner double-crossed me on a job. I stole from the kind of people who don't forgive or forget. I fell in love with someone? No! Uh, let's go with... Because we get to define who we are here. Maybe my partner double-crossed me. I think that's the one. Or, I stole from the kind of people who don't forgive or forget. I don't think any of this matters all that much, but I want to make the right choices, or at least the choices that I feel are the most me in this situation. So, for me, I'd say... I wouldn't run away even if I was wanted, so it's gonna be either I stole from the wrong people, but I think it's more my partner double-crossed me. Or let's go with I stole from the wrong people. There you go. Well, we've all got things we'd like to leave behind. God knows I do. Tell you that. Here's hoping they never track us down. I don't think they will. Okay. Breeziness around. It's been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Radix offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle down like the rest of the lot? No. No. Uh... I'm just passing through. That's usually the case with a big city just a little ways further up the road. Where you headed? Uh, nowhere special, just putting uh, as much time and distance between me and my old life as I possibly can. I don't know, I guess that's, that's pretty much what I'm thinking here. Seeing as how we're halfway between nowhere and nothing, I'd say you picked the right spot. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Dima, give me an earful. Let's be on our way. Why are you here? I'd like to hear. Size unevenly. Girl. Girl, tell me your story. My sister's moved out here uh, some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. That's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a little worried. I like this. I hope we're going to explore her story as well. I like Kalisha. Haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Ixa Mittel. I'd like to hear how they pronounce that name. But I'd do anything for her. She's, well, she's a much better woman than me. So I'm here and we'll see. Tell me about yourself. Oh, wait. Let's just. Odima, I've worked with before. He doesn't usually drive a route this way. But he's doing it for me. Okay, cool. I got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live that way. My family wanders too. We started in Deerwood, but my parents ended up in the living lands. Wow, well, so if I had perhaps chosen that, maybe I would have gone along with her a little better. Got a brother in Rautai. And another in Adir. My sister in Gilded Vale... She's the only real homebody. Okay. What can you tell me about Deerwood? I'm not much for history, but from what I know, it used to be part of the Adir Empire. Broke off after a war some years back. The locals here are feisty, and that's how they like it. Been out of touch, but I've been hearing some weird kinds of things about it lately. People are having trouble giving birth. Huh? I guess. A lot of them. Been going on for years now, but somehow it's getting worse. With an uneasy tremor in her voice, she adds, I'll have to ask my sister more about it. Maybe it's about that. Okay, let's get back to camp. You know, I wouldn't like to hold my breath, 
that uh, Sparfell is getting you water anytime soon. He does what he feels like. That's exactly what I thought when I walked past him now. When he feels like. We should check up on him first. Slap him around a little bit. Stream's down that way. Come. Get your water. Hmm. Uh, I want to go down here first, though. Of course. See what else we could potentially see. What is this? I'll take it. 